a great day, sports world. What's up to all the sports lovers, haters, addicts, and fanatics? This your man Bubba coming to you for GT365. That's Game Time 365 Sports. Live here on the GTSN. That's the Game Time Sports Network. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the matchups in the Super Bowl. Uh, we got... This, this is probably one of the more intriguing matchups um, with one of the best offenses in the league going against um, the best defense in the league. Uh, <laughs> over on that offensive side of the ball, you got Patrick Mahomes, who's, you know, the last two years, he's been great. Um, behind him, you have uh, weapons like Tyreek Hill, who's fast, explosive, who can stretch the field. Uh, you got Demarcus Robinson, you got Travis Kelsey, you got Sammy Watkins, uh, and, and Damian Williams. Of course, you got Rashawn McCoy. Forgot about him. Uh, they're going to be going against guys on the other side, the likes of DeForest Buckner on the, on the D-line, Nick Bosa, uh, Eric Armstead, uh, Fred Warner and the linebackers. Um, D Ford on the edge rushing side. Um, then you got your cornerbacks. You got uh, Sher Richard Sherman, of course. Jaquiski Tart, uh, Jimmy Ward, K1 Williams. So I think it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be pretty. Uh, gonna be pretty. Pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Um, now on the 49ers side. You got Jimmy Garoppolo, who's done a lot less. Don't know the numbers off the top of the head, but it it, it, it wasn't that much. Uh, I think the last game, he only threw like eight yards, like eight yards, eight times. Um, so the the run attack has really definitely been um, the, the, the strength of this offense. And um, <laughs> with, with, the, with the Super Bowl coming up, I think they're going to be looking at different targets other than um, just Raheem Mostart, uh, especially when you got other backs over there like uh, uh, Matt Breida, if he decides to play. I think Tevin Coleman might be out. Uh, I'm not sure who the other running back is, but then you got George Kittle, who, you know, arguably won or two. Like this matchup right here with Travis Kelsey and George Kittle. Uh, two of the best tight ends in the league, one, two, whatever way you want to put it. I would put Travis Kelsey first because of his numbers. Um, but George Kittle ain't no slouch. He's a good pass-catching tight end. He uh, he does a lot of his work in the uh, in, in the run game as far as blocking. Uh, he's an excellent blocker. Uh, and then you got guys like Emmanuel Sanders who can stretch that field also. Um, you got... Uh, Who's a uh, Debo Samuel, stretch the field also. So, um, and then on defense for the Chiefs, the Chiefs defense has improved the last few weeks uh, coming up to this game. And it wasn't really all that of a good defense coming out, starting out the season. But like I think they they eventually they fix that shit. And um, as far as pass rushing, pass defense has gotten a lot better. Uh, they still, you know, a little, a little shaky in the run game. Derrick Henry ran for over 60 yards. I believe it was over 60 yards in the AFC Championship game. Um, but you know, when you holding a guy who's been going strong over a buck 80, 200 some odd yards for the last three or four games, you know, that 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 says it's, that's good. Especially when he been doing it on the road, um, so I think this 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 matchup is definitely. Um, I feel like I feel like this is the game that the 49ers really needs to like get their offense going because the Chiefs can score on you within seven seconds. I think this is the game, the game where. The 49ers offense, instead of relying on just on their running game, I think they need to look at their targets like an Emmanuel Sanders, like a Debo Samuel, like a Kendrick Bourne. Um, add Richard James Jr. to the mix. Um, get Dante Pettis in there. You know what I'm saying? They're just not household names, just like some of the Chiefs.
players are. But I think this could be really like a, a big a big back and forth matchup. Nobody really knows how this game is gonna go. Um, we could say that it's gonna be a shootout, so and so, but notice how in the past few years how you had best offense going against best defense. Best offense really they haven't came out on top of those matchups. If you take back at 2013 when the Broncos played the Seahawks and the Broncos got outdoed 43 to eight, we just got just got the ass bust. Um, and then you take a look at when the the Broncos played the Panthers. Panthers had Panthers were 15 and one. They had one of the best offenses in the league. Broncos had the best defense. Broncos shut that down. So you just you you, you never you never know how matchups are gonna go. You know we're just gonna have to see. I think that it's gonna be a very interesting matchup. I hope it's not a, a, a blowout, but you never know. Jimmy Garoppolo went an amazing 17 for 27 for 208 yards, one touchdown in this postseason alone. So that tells you right there that he ain't been doing a lot of work. Uh, not to say he can't do a lot of work, but I think in this matchup, he's going to use some of that, some of that, uh, some of those strengths that he used in New England. Hell, even early part of the year. Like, Jimmy G can really pick you apart. If he really wants to, he can really pick you apart. But when the run game is going, why shy away from it? I'm excited to see what D4 can do against his former team. I predict D4 probably going to have about a good three or four sacks against his former team. I would like to see that. Um, and then you got Joey. You got, not Joey. You got Nick. Nick Bosa over there. Uh, who can definitely rush the passer? He's with defensive rookie of the year, so you know I I I just want to see a good matchup. It's definitely gonna be a good matchup on how that secondary handles those receivers. How can anybody uh, contain Travis Kelsey, especially on third downs? Travis Kelsey is a beast on third downs. So who gonna, who gonna be able to control? Who who gonna be able to contain him? Chiefs defense, uh, as far as their pass rush, has been excellent these last seven games. Last seven games, these dudes done put up at least by a good 20 sacks over the last seven games. That's including all the way back to, like, the last game they played before they, like, before they back. Well, coming off their back when they played Oakland. Uh, that's 20 sacks registered over the last seven games. And that's been from a defense led by... Frank Clark, uh, to no passing on, uh, 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 um, Terrell Suggs when he came over, Tyra Matthew, uh, Daniel Sorensen. Like, they, got, they got guys over there that's flying over the field. So, I mean, early part of the season, Chiefs defense, they got a lot of slack because uh, they weren't really all that well. They, were, they, they didn't really play all that well. You know, they give up a lot of points and all that, but... For the last few weeks, Chiefs defense been on point. Hate to say it. The big matchups I want to see, they're not on the, necessarily on the field at the same time, but I want to see how George Kittle responds to the Chiefs defense and how Travis Kelsey responds to the 49ers defense. Travis Kelsey is a monster on third downs. George Kittle's a monster on third downs too. Just got to see which one, which one is, is, is going to be that. That guy. I hope it's George Kittle, though. But you never know. Uh, this is your boy Bubba for GT365. That's Game Time 365 Sports. The Game Time 365 Sports Podcast will be coming to you very soon. Until then.